Hey guys, it's Thanimal, and I'm going to be doing a short series of videos uh, going over my popper cube. Now, um, the next video you're going to see is going to start with white, and it's going to go through all the parts of the cube. However, I wanted to do just a very brief overview of the history of the cube. Um, and if this is boring to you, totally fine. Just wait for the other videos to come out and watch those. But uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about how this cube was designed and made. Um, so I kind of, it took me a while to really, really get into cube. The first cube I built was basically just a draft simulator for conspiracy. The second cube I built was a cycling, or not, not a cycling cube, a cycle cube. So, so all the cards in it had to belong to a cycle and wherever possible I wanted the cycles completed inside the cube. That cube was terrible. <laughs> it was a lot of fun to collect and a lot of fun to find these really cool cycles. However, uh, the cube wasn't fun to draft at all. It wasn't good. Uh, so then I decided to make a good cube and, and, and forget about the cycles, but just make a good cube. And uh, about a year or about a year and a half into that cube, I was kind of running into some problems. Um, I was really having a difficult time balancing it. It was my first real cube that I like really honestly tried to make good to draft and fun. And so I was having trouble, you know, I was, I was getting all these really powerful cards for it and it was great and all, but I just... It wasn't balanced, and I felt like I lacked the skills to balance such a powerful cube. So I decided I had a bunch of blue Ultra Pro sleeves lying around, and I decided, you know what, I think I, I think maybe I should make a popper cube and just make it totally synergy-based, archetype-focused, and just fun to draft as possible. And that way I'm not just tempted to just, I don't know, like just throw a Planeswalker in a color that's not doing all right all that right so I decided to make this cube and work on it and uh, fast forward another year or year or so and it's now my most fun cube draft by far even though my main cubes were reaching about a thousand dollars there's a lot of really powerful cards in there uh, this cube is just so much better so much more fun to draft and and that's just not that's, that's not just me saying it uh, a lot of my friends and play group have said that we would prefer to draft the popper cube and so I wanted to do a little, nice little video. Um, this is going to be, what is it, April of 2018. And this is going to be the, the current iteration. I'm going to put a link in the description of all of these subsequent videos that's going to have a link to the Cube Tutor so you can see what it is like now. But I, I feel like I've gotten it to a point where it's almost reaching its completion. And it's almost to a point where all I'm going to have to do is look at the new expansion, look at the new set and see if there's anything new that it could add to the cube. But it's, you know, it's a really, I feel like it's a really well-designed cube and I wanted to show it off. Also, I got a lot of foils for it, a lot of foils for it. So I wanted to show that off as well. Uh, my vanity is getting the better of me. But anyways, enough for me jabbering on. Uh, the next video you should see should be um, whites and we'll just go down in Uber order. So uh, have fun.